since I published on YouTube my video called The Yellow Coat, shot entirely with that little beast of a camera, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera Original, it's a long name. I received, and if you didn't see the video, you can watch it by clicking the link in the description below, sure. I received a few comments asking if I could do a grading tutorial to show how I graded these shots, how I gave them that airy look that so much people love. So I thought, why not? And I'm gonna do it and you're gonna see that my process is the simplest in the world. So uh, here we have four shots. Uh, these were all shot with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera original. I shoot in RAW DNG but don't worry if you shoot in ProRes RAW you will be able to make the same look. So uh, my process is very simple. The first thing you want to do is to add two more nodes, uh, two more uh, basic corrector nodes and on the middle one we will add an effect called Color Space Transform. The goal of this effect is to turn the Blackmagic film into a Reloxy. So in Input Color Space you select Blackmagic Design Film Generation 1. In Input Gamma you select Blackmagic Film. And we want to uh, transform it in Ari Alexa and Ari Log C. Here you can see that now we have the flat uh, Ari Log before we had the flat Blackmagic film and now we have the flat Ari Log. So we can close the open effects. On the third node, we are going to add a LUT to transform the Ari Log C into Ari Rec 709. Uh, this LUT is provided directly by DaVinci Resolve. If you go in LUTs Ari, you have Ari Alexa Log C to Rec 709. You take it and you put it on the third node. So here we have a first result that is not bad. But in the first node, we are going to do uh, some adjustments to get the good exposures and the good white balance. So you can close LUTs. And here on the first node, we are going to make our uh, exposure adjustments first. So you have to go in the color tab. And here what I can see is overall the, the global shot is overexposed. So I, I will take the offset and I will bring it down a little bit. Like this not too much uh, and I will uh, take the shadows and I will bring them down also uh, so I want to bring them down bring to bring them down sorry but I, I don't want my image to be too much contrasted so I think what I'm gonna do is to reduce the contrast and I will put a 0 0.8 like so I like it I will bring my shadow down and I will bring my highlights down also to give this this flat image like this I like it uh, I will go in my raw settings but you can do it also here for the temperature and the tint if you shoot in ProRes raw but I prefer to do it in the raw settings I will uh, change my uh, no I, I won't change my my white balance actually it's 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 good for me the only thing I'm gonna do is maybe to add a little bit more saturation to my image like uh, like so I like it maybe I will bring my my mid tones down like this so you see there is no rule actually you make it you have to make proper adjustments for each shot there is absolutely no rule uh, you have to, to make the adjustments that, that you like. For me, it's beautiful. I like the, these adjustments. I think the, the image is good. The colors are, are beautiful. I like it. So for me, this, this grading is, is, is completely okay for, for this shot. And uh, I can now uh, take uh, a second shot like this one. Select a, a good steel reference and I can add the grade that I did on the other one, apply grade. And here, all I have to do is to make the proper adjustments for this shot. So I will reset all these settings for the exposures and I will make my, my proper exposure for this shot. So I will bring my shadows down again, like so. And I will bring my highlights down, like so. You see, it's not very complicated. I transform the black magic film into a real Alexa, I put a lot and after I make my adjustments it will be the same for the first shot for the third shot sorry <laughs> a 
look at that it's almost perfect maybe i will bring my shadows down a little bit like so but the this shot <laughs> is perfect there is no more work to do i think and for my last shot it's the same i can apply the grade i can reset the exposure settings and i can do the the proper adjustment for this shot so here we see on the on the waveform that it's way too much overexposed so i will bring all my my image down i will bring my shadows down also like this don't forget to take a, a good uh, image for your reference like this one for me it's okay so you see it's it, it was not very long but the thing that you have to pay attention to is the exposure the white balance and uh, there is a mistake that many people do that you don't have to do is to put your um, adjustment uh, node before uh, the node on the which you have your LUT. Never make your adjustments after the LUT uh, because the, the result won't be uh, won't be the same, and you the, the risk is to to lose information in your shot and to distract some information. So here you saw the way I graded this shot. It's not very long. You just have to pay attention to to your settings and to make very little adjustments to get the look that you want. Don't forget that in color grading there is no rule, there is no obligation. You have to do the look that you want. You, you, you have to put the contrast, the saturation, the exposure that you want. But you asked me a lot for uh, this tutorial. So here is the way I grade my shots. And maybe I, I hope it can give you uh, some advices for your future grading. Don't forget to, to leave a comment to say if if I say if, if I said something wrong uh, or if you have uh, any questions it will be a pleasure to to answer you thanks for uh, for watching and uh, see you soon in uh, in the next video bye bye <laughs>